Grease's damp, soot affect our walls. We try to solve it with conventional paints but they come out again. In this tutorial I am going to show you, with three examples, as with special paints, how we are going to completely eliminate stains. In this case, we have included a series of stains on the wall with a blowtorch. Let's see how we can solve it. First we are going to take a putty knife and we are going to scrape off the areas of paint that are poorly adhered. Next we are going to brush the wall to remove the soot. Once the soot is removed, we will apply the paint. As we are going to do it by paint sprayer, we are going to follow the manufacturer's recommendations and we will dilute, up to a maximum of 5%, with water. For starting work, I want to make two recommendations to you. The first is the distance, we are going to maintain a distance of between 8 and 12 inches. The second recommendation is, since we are going to work in stripes, the stripe we are painting should be mounted on a little over the previous one, so that the surface is as covered as possible. In this case we have a wall very affected by humidity. We have already left it to dry in order to repair it. Then once it's dry, let's scrape. To scrape the first thing is to pass the putty knife flat, so we remove the most obvious peeling paint. Once we have done that, we are going to insist on the worst adhered areas. Simply with the edge of the putty knife, helping us with the other hand. Next we are going to prepare a primer stain blocker. We are going to add a small amount and follow the manufacturer's instructions. In this case we are going to pour twice as much water. As you can see, I'm repairing the most remarkable damage to the wall. Once plastered, we will sand the surface. 
We are going to remove the imperfections that we have left with the putty knife. Once sanded, we will remove the dust. And we are going to give a primer sealer to consolidate the surface. We already have the mixture made, next we are going to apply our primer sealer with a 1 half inch nap paint roller brush. Although we see it shine, it is already dry. Once we have our primer sealer dry, we are going to apply a special paint for humid environments. We are going to pour the paint. As you can see, the paint is thick. We are going to add the appropriate solvent. The first operation will be cutting the top, the plugs, and the bottom. Once we have finished trimming, we will paint. The roller we have chosen is of 1 inch nap because it penetrates much better on this texture. To insert the roller and that it does not drip, we wet the most superficial part of the hair of the roller and drain it on the paint bucket. We have finished painting, and we are waiting for it to dry. I am finishing setting up the masking paper, because next we are going to paint the ceiling. In this case, we will directly paint our water stain with a wall paint. Why have I done this? To demonstrate that you should not paint with a normal paint on a damp stain. It is necessary to apply a special stain blocker primer. We are going to leave it so you can see what the result is. As you can see, it has not worked. You need to apply a primer that is stain remover. In this case, we will first delimit the corners with the brush. Once finished trimming, we will use the roller. In this case we are going to work in several directions, so that the entire surface is as homogeneous as possible. While we ensure that we the footprint of the roller is not noticed.
We have already finished. We have painted the ceiling. This is what this painting looks like. Of course, if you want to change the color or give it a different look, you can do it. I hope that after this video you do not have more problems with stains anymore.